Before anything, sorry about my hair, but we only got Brillo pad combs in this house for whatever reason now. I don't know what happened to the one for my type of hair. But anyway, there's been something I've been meaning to complain about for a while now within the state of New York. And it's these energy supplier companies and how many of them are utility scammers doing shady practices like trying to switch out your service for a much more expensive one. Sometimes without your consent by looking at your bill numbers and shit. All phone call scams or the door shit. And not even letting their employees know, yo, you know you're doing some shady ass business. And it's very annoying because I understand the reason this is happening now. There's been a deregulation since Hurricane Sandy. For years I've been following this shit, watching YouTube videos of these scammers in action, constantly rebranding their names, being dodgy in phone calls because they know if they say the wrong thing, that might finally be it for them. The feds could be ready to press some charges. And back in spring, it seemed like we were having some progress in this issue because they had so many of these businesses called out legally in the courts. They have their court dates, and now's their time to really show which business is legit and which one is trying to deceive the public. Because regardless, these guys are utility scammers. We think about the big bills, rent, utilities, food, shit like that. These guys are, for half a decade now, I've been finessing the shit out of people. Especially in a lot of these low-income housing areas where they'll go into dense-ass apartments, knock on every building, say the same old shit, make sure them old people are around. Make sure it's an inconvenient time where someone may not be fully prepared. They always be coming around when I notice when the adults in the house or the full well enabled people are at work. The nine to five gap. And again, I know the reasoning behind this, but it's been five years. At this point, you should have some rules set up so that these businesses can be a lot less dodgy. And I'm going to give some blame to Con Edison too, because Con Edison, because of a lot of these regulations and how some boroughs run their business, especially Manhattan, does charge a lot, but specifically when Con Ed, when their suppliers be coming through, they look just as dodgy as the scammers. Like, I remember one time I did, two years ago, open the door to a scammer and got hit with a bait and switch. But the very next year, a legit Con Ed dude came through and he looked just as dodgy. He looked and spoke and dressed just like the dude who was dodgy as shit. He used the same slang, same, like... Dark ass skin. Yeah. Same same Caesar, not a millimeter longer. And same swagger. And it was a different guy. But the thing is, a lot of times it's hard to tell because they really don't get people who look business professional going door to door. I'm not just talking about your looks because at some point you can't really do anything about that. You see me right now, I look dodgy as fuck. And that's because of things like that are a little out of my control at the moment. But at least have these guys with a good tag on them. They usually got tags on them, but they look sheep as shit. Got these, get these guys looking official. 
when Domino's does a better job of making their delivery person look legit, you know you got a problem. Because a lot of times some legitimate escos and suppliers will come through checking your bill. Not, not checking your bill, uh, checking your place to see how much energy you actually use. And they look just as dodgy as the scammers. In fact, sometimes the scammers be looking a lot better because they have a charisma to them that you usually don't see from official people. And a lot of times, it's the same guy I just said before from reading an article, a lot of people really don't know whether they're working an official business. I remember I was once hired for a business that was dodgy as shit. And I didn't really fully know. Like, now I fully understand that it was, like, not legit. But even then, like, the way the business ran and the practice, I understood that was a little dodgy. But whether they were affiliated with, like, a good service where the customers were doing dirty... I think the customers were going to get done dirty at some point. And I know uh, another YouTuber of similar political persuasion, Newman, also got into a very similar situation. But still, it's like, New York's got to do a lot of things now to improve on these business practices. I can understand having multiple businesses competing. I like that. I like when suppliers are competing. Competition is a good thing because it means lower prices. Real competition. But sometimes you gotta like figure these things out. And after five years, they should have figured this shit out. They should have been like, I will have multiple businesses. They won't be in a monopoly or an oligopoly. But we're also gonna make sure that Everybody looks professional, and no one is doing this fuck shit where they're finessing you with these heavy ass charges, switching you out of your deals, doing all this other garbage. And going back to the court that I noticed that some Republicans were actually pissed about this and calling actually giving these guys court dates trying to see if which business is real which business is a scam they're calling it fascist i'm thinking look a lot of times when it comes to business practices i usually side with the republicans now i'm not as much of a libertarian as i used to i again switch more to the net sock persuasion However, there were a lot of things that Republicans will say where they're good in some issues at getting the moral high ground and understanding the situation. Especially when it comes to deregulation. Because some regulations are really stupid, even the ones we're dealing with right now. However, if you're standing up for literal scammers, and there are a lot of scammers. I noticed that they, like, I moved, and the same scamming as escos back in the Heights were also up here in Marble Hill. And I thought that was fucking stupid. You cannot sell for that. Seriously. So, regardless. Thank you guys for watching this video, and again, I might be talking about some other shit in the nigh future. This has been your boy, Mr. Ronka7, and suck my dick.